Okay, uh, welcome to MBS, um, PMP MBS, and today we're delighted to have Western uh, with us. Hello, West. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, for those um, not familiar with uh, West, maybe uh, could you give us a quick, you know, you know, a quick introduction to whom you are? I, I know you've been us for a very long time uh, with 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 TMP for several for a long time as well with Euro for several years. Um, but would you like to give us a quick ov overview of what you've done in you know in various regions? Um, you know across you know across the you know across uh, the several years that you've been with us. Um, yes, absolutely, I can do that. So I started playing NS. Um, in 2020, just before the Drupalypse, and I initially joined TNP. Um, before getting into anything gameplay related, I mostly participated in um, Got Issues, which is the community on NS that focuses on writing the issues that you answer. Um, after I had spent a few months there, I eventually made my way over to TNP, and I served as the Minister of World Assembly Affairs and the Minister of the FETS. Um, before taking about a year and a half ish of a hiatus, um, when I came back, I uh, initially joined the Order of the Grey Wardens right at the end of 2022, and um, mostly did defending stuff and uh, worked in the Security Council before I eventually made my way to Europe. And right now, I'm not doing too much of anything and just kind of focusing on real life. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, you know, real life, uh, of course, uh, takes priority as always. Um, so, uh, tell us about the time that you spent with TMP. You know, with uh, MOD and MOWAA. Um, you know, uh, I I was W MOWAA as well. So, and uh, I pretty much used most of what you what what you built on over the years. But you know, it will be great to hear from you personally. No, yeah, of course. Um, I was not actually a very foundational um, Minister of World Assembly Affairs. So when I first started doing World Assembly stuff, um, this was around the time that some familiar faces that um, current TNPers might recognize were actually running the show there. Um, I got my start in TNP off of Honey to Estania, which some people might um, recognize because we had met in the Got Issues uh, Discord a couple months prior. Uh, after that, we... Um, well, I started working in WAA mostly because I was somewhat familiar with stuff in the World Assembly, specifically the Security Council, and Kretok State was pretty important in getting me sort of anywhere because around this time he was doing tons of stuff in TNP, and um, with his help I started doing um, and taking over a lot of the WAA stuff, and eventually that led to my ascendancy to the Minister of World Assembly Affairs position. I really didn't do much. Um, honestly, it was more just like I was filling a space, and a lot of the work in World Assembly Affairs at this time was kind of, um, I don't quite know how to put it, like, it, it's just like filling out what you need to do. Um, you know, just doing IFEs and putting out recommendations and whatnot. And so usually you'd have like a couple st uh, staffers working on that and just getting everything done. At this time, Boston Castle, as some people might know him, uh, Hold'em, that might be a better name that uh, newer players might recognize him by, uh, was doing a lot of the work there. So honestly, I can attribute a lot of the work in the ministry during my time as a minister to him. Um, and other than that, the only really notable things that happened when I was Minister of World Assembly Affairs um, was really this scandal that happened between the North Pacific and the South Pacific, where we had a bit of a argument over quorum rating. Um, I believe it was a, a proposal to repeal the liberation of Confederacy of Corrupt Dictators, which is, I guess, a little bit of a contemporary issue again with how TNP has recently taken CCD. But back then yep. it was, I believe, um, an attempt by CCD to self repeal the liberation. And so TNP had attempted to quorum rate it. And um, defenders of the lip court had tried to stop the quorum rate. And we got into a big argument. And it was a big kerfuffle that essentially laid the groundwork for the treaty repeal that's been like three years later. So 
um, that was that. And I didn't really do much aside from assist in some of the uh, foreign affairs stuff that happened in that term, which didn't really materialize all that much. There were some talks, but um, nothing from that term really solidified into anything. Uh, I specifically remember Big Macedonia and Prater, who are two retired players now. We don't see much of them anymore, but I believe MCM pops his head up now and then. Um, and we were, or they were really important in getting me to kind of understand the landscape of NS. And even though after this point, I wouldn't really do much in terms of NSFA, um, I would definitely credit a lot of um, my experience and my initial like growing up in NS to them. Um, aside from that, I eventually made my way to the NPA. And honestly, the NPA was more of my focus by the time I had become Minister of World Assembly Affairs, just because I really found R&D in particular, like super duper interesting. Um, at this time, defenders were basically just super duper uh, dominant in R&D. And they had kind of crushed all occupation attempts into the ground. And the main conflict was just tagging and um lily in particular was very uh prominent during this time because they would run these super fast tagging sessions and that meant that they would be the only competition for libcord's incredibly skilled uh chasers the npa was a little bit like in a like in a bit of a lull and we had been doing a lot of detagging de stuff under minister namaria who i would also credit with basically all the important work that was done in the npa at that time and um, I took over as MOD after I believe Nim ran for president against Robespierre and lost by a very close vote margin. And they took a bit oh, of the sorry. Who, 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 which election was this one? Sorry, which um, this was, was this? this was the I believe um, May or June delegacy election in 2021. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, that was the yeah. That was uh, uh yeah that 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 was the that was quite a tight 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 race I recall yes yeah I believe it was one of the closest ones in TNP history that I could not say for any like confidence at all if that's actually the case but um I remember it being very close and a little bit dramatic and I ended up being the minister of defense under Robespierre um I mostly just kind of did my own thing at that point because we had started to develop a tagging strategy um, when I was in the NPA that essentially sacrificed a lot of speed for like confusing the defenders that were chasing us. And so that started to give us a bit of interregional recognition because we started to put up good numbers against the defenders. And the summer of 2021 after Lily started to fade away was mostly just the NPA and relative like or um, just a bunch of other independent allies like rallying around us to do a bunch of uh fun and honestly really awesome like different operations there were um i believe there was an a like alliance of independent uh organizations known as the alliance against chasing or something like that i don't quite remember or the chasing is canceled uh at organized organization or something i actually have no clue what it was called and we also had a um an occupation slash like pile off in entropy because koth had founded that region and was giving it up after 100 days so the ern specifically led an operation there to try and seize the region but um that didn't go our way but either way it was just honestly one of the most fun times in NS and definitely a different shade of politics and social environment compared to what we know today. But um, yeah, after that, I took a break because it was my last year of high school and I started to apply to colleges and I was just really burnt out of NS at that point. So I left TNP and just sort of didn't do anything for about a year. Okay, yeah, fair enough. And then uh, so after you uh after you took your one year break then you joined uh you said that you joined tgw right so uh uh after your break your one year break from tnp and then uh before you ended up in euro uh so would you like to tell us about that yeah for sure um i ended up coming back to tgw because i was actually in europe at the time and tim had dm me in the middle of the night for a liberation that some people might remember. It was the uh, the siege of New Westphalia. And um, 
I had, I have no clue. Like at this time I was like maybe like bored or something. And I was like, okay, sure. I'll join up. And after participating in the liberation, he offered to make me a full-time warden and basically conscripted me and I became a warden. Um, there isn't really much to this. I just sort of like did the regular defender kind of thing, like started chasing a bunch. And um, I can give a ton of credit to uh, Greya Creopia, better known as GK for this, because she's just absolutely like one of the best defenders and players in nation states and was a huge mentor for me. And um, I found it really easy to start getting involved under her leadership as first warden. And I mostly helped with um, a lot of the preparation we did for the frontier update um, in recruiting and setting up infrastructure for the Amaranthi Niles, though that didn't really end up going our way. And I started leading liberations like the ones in England and South Pacific. Um, during this time, like the liberations and whatnot weren't really going our way. So uh, it was a lot of like uh, crushing defeats over and over again. But um, with the help of a lot of other like new defender leaders like Concrete Slab and Anjan Kloss, who's also better known as Kivu to some, um, we started to get some traction. And it was honestly really fun that summer, just like running a whole bunch of liberations and having so much energy in Libcourt to fight against what was at this time a pretty dominant raiding force. So that was mostly what had happened in my time in TGW. I started to sort of back off an activity after the operation in Magna Aria, which was basically this ruling um three three week siege we sieged them straight for i think a week and a half which beat the previous record set in england and then after that i think we watched for an additional two weeks in the refound watch and eventually sniped the region and although it ended up being um a infiltration from the start from the brotherhood of malice it was honestly one of the most fun even if stressful operations i'd ever taken part in and yeah Okay, yeah, that that sounds very interesting, and uh, I I totally agree with you that um, I totally agree with you that uh, DK is a very um, uh, uh, competent and very uh, uh, well trained um, you know uh, personality, and uh, I I've had a few uh, conversations with her, and uh, she 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 comes across as very competent, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I've never been. I've never been in in R and D before, so it is more of uh, just you know in in GP dealings. Um, she, yeah. she, she seems fantastic. Yeah. No, absolutely. I can one hundred percent one one hundred percent second that she is probably one of the defining players in our age of NS at least, and I think that all the praise should be given to her. Yeah. Um. Uh. Also, yeah. Just going back a little bit to what you said earlier, I think. Um. Uh. Uh, Kratos is also a very competent uh, player. Um, I actually worked uh, with him on one of the GA um, I think 6, 681 um, where it was uh, IA and then Kratos and Seth and me. So uh, it ended up being like uh, four legal professionals as I joked about <laughs> uh, working on the same thing. Um, <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a that's a really stacked roster of authors. It's kind of impressive that you still remember the number. Yeah, I, no, I, I just I just I, I just I just looked it up. Um, um, I just looked it up <laughs> in front of me on the screen. Um, uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. It, it was the only one. It's the only one that where all four people who collaborated on it um have a legal background. So um, uh, so. Although that's still, I think um, that 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 still had a fairly choppy writing style um, because <laughs> I dropped that one. But anyway, uh, I digress. Ah, it's your, no, that's fair. Um, this is, yeah, this is your show, not mine. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, and um, okay, um, we're going to take a short break now. Um, so um, when we come back um, on on the next. Um, on the next part of this series, uh, we'll talk about uh, your time in issues and uh, uh, your time in the in uh, offering resolutions for the Security Council. Um, and Sounds good. You've been listening to you've been listening to TNP NBS.